India, a land so diverse that every few steps feels like a whole new world. Although transforming at a rapid pace, India boldly and fluently maintains its cultural, historical, and spiritual treasures. Join us as we explore the communities and traditions that are only in India. The Ganges River stretches for more than 1,500 miles across some of the most densely populated areas in Asia. Originating from the Gangotri Glacier, high in the Himalayas of northern India, the river flows southeast through India and Bangladesh before spilling into the Bay of Bengal. The Ganges goes by many names, including Ganga, Shubra, and Alaknanda. It is considered sacred, the giver of life, and a true mother by all definitions. This is the story and significance of the Ganges River. Bhagirata was a legendary king of the Ishvaku dynasty. He brought the river Ganga to earth from the heavens because only she could bestow Nirvana to Bhagirata's ancestors who were cursed by sage Kapila. After years of great penance, the Ganges River descended on earth and Lord Shiva agreed to channelize her flow. Therefore, the Ganges flowed from Lord Shiva's hair. The place where the sacred river originated is known as Gangotri in present times, and since the river originated from Lord Shiva's Jata, or hair, it is also called Jata Shankari. While flowing, the Ganga demolished the ashram of sage Jana, who became furious and stopped her movement. On Bhagirata's appeal, the sage freed her. Therefore, the Ganges is also called Janavi. The Ganga then reached sage couple's ashram, where Bhagirata's ancestors were burnt to ashes and liberated to rest in peace. The Ganga is the only river that flows from all three worlds, heaven, or Swarga, earth, Prithvi, and hell, Patala. The person who has traveled to all three worlds is addressed as Tripitaga in the Sanskrit language. In Hinduism, the holy river Ganga is personified and personalized as the goddess Ganga. The followers of the Hindu religion believe that bathing in the pious Ganges can help wash away all sins. Followers also believe that a mere touch of the river can help attain moksha or salvation, and so the ashes of the dead are immersed in the sacred river. Because it provides water to 40% of India's population, the Ganges is considered a lifeline of India. Additionally, it is a source of irrigation for a wide variety of crops. The Ganges Basin has fertile soil that largely influences the agricultural economies of India and its neighboring country of Bangladesh. The River Ganga also supports fishing industries, making it an agricultural and professional necessity for the livelihood of Indians. Varanasi, Haridwar, Gangotri, Allahabad, and Rishikesh are the prime destinations that have great religious significance for Hindu devotees. Allahabad and Haridwar are renowned for organizing the Kumela, Mela, a grand religious fair, and Haridwar is also revered as the gateway to heaven. These beautiful destinations located on the banks of Ganga are visited by many travel enthusiasts. The famous Ganga Arti takes place at twilight every day and is an incredibly moving ceremony. All the ghats are filled with the aroma of flowers and the fragrance of incense sticks. Several priests perform this ritual by carrying dipam and moving it up and down in a rhythmic tune of bhajans. Many soda travelers have communicated that the Arti was a profound highlight of their Indian experience. And we agree. The bathing ghats of Ganga are a popular tourist attraction. A ghat is a series of steps that lead to the river, and Hindus believe that bathing in Ganga is truly auspicious and will wash away all sins. Travelers often visit these ghats to bathe and witness the funeral rites. A funeral ghat is a place where families gather to cremate the bodies of their loved ones. Later, their ashes are offered to the river. The Mani Karnika ghat in Varanasi, for example, is one famous funeral ghat. In Rishikesh, the Ganges has become a source of adventure tourism, as its fast-flowing emerald waters treat adventure buffs with river rafting, kayaking, and body surfing. The river becomes unpredictable when flowing over treacherous terrain, creating epic rapids. Slow boats are also available, permitting travelers to watch the beautiful scenery and observe the Indian culture and traditions. 
Hindus consider the waters of the Ganges to be both pure and purifying. Because of its religious significance, several yoga retreats have been established on the banks of the river. Rishikesh, considered the yoga capital of North India, has multiple ashrams where guests can practice yoga and learn meditation in a spiritual setting. Human development, mostly from agriculture, has replaced nearly all of the original natural vegetation of the Ganges Basin. Water pollution, drought, and mining are contributing to an evolving landscape. The Ganges suffers from extreme pollution levels, mostly caused by the over 400 million people who live close to the river. Sewage, industrial waste, plastics, and even decomposing bodies are the primary causes. And the World Bank estimates that the health costs of water pollution equals 3% of India's GDP. However, even with mass contamination, the Ganges supplies local communities with water for bathing, washing dishes, and laundry. Ultimately, she is a mother and a provider. Like Mother Nature, the Ganges is unpredictable and revered. She is a powerful symbol of worship, pilgrimage, and recreation. Interested in learning more about India? Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more destination inspiration.